Hi. In today's video, we want to talk about extensions. So if we click here on extension, we will go on this website with extensions for LibreOffice. Let's search for backup. We have this timestamp backup. Let's click. And here, let's download. It's working for Linux, Windows and Mac OS. So let's download, let's save it. And after that, from LibreOffice, let's go to Tools, Extension Manager, and let's add this extension. We scroll down and accept. After that, let's close and let's restart LibreOffice. So we have this colored icon here in the top. Let's go to Tools, Options, Path. We see here the path for backup. So if we make backups, here will be the backups uh, moved. So in Config LibreOffice, you can see the same address here. So in we are here in, this, in that folder. Okay, you can edit and you can change the, the path where you need to save the, all the backups. Let's open a new project and order the file. Let's have a title, some text here. Let's align. Let's change the title. So let's choose heading one. And now let's use it. Let's save. So we have a copy of our project with the name, the date and time where uh, we saved this document. Let's write something else. OK, we have three paragraphs now. Let's save again. We have another copy one minute later. So we have two copies in the case something is happening. So it's going wrong and we break the document. We have two copies of this uh, project. So if I save again, I have three copies, three different minutes. If I save Vink with LibreOffice save, I have a, pro a backup, but it's only one backup. OK, so this is the difference. If I'm saving, you can see when I save, this icon is refreshing. So I have a recently backup for our project. But in the case of this extension, this colored extension, I have a full project uh, backup for different time, uh, different moments in time. But thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more video every week. Thank you.